What is up, boys and girls? This is Scyther 4077. We are playing part four of Darksiders. We are in the Scalding Gallow. If you go to the left of the Volgrim location there, jump once, let yourself fly just a little bit, or fall a little bit, and then jump again to activate your Shadow Flight. You can float down here, run around, and get the very first piece of Abyssal Armor. There are ten in this game. Count them, ten. But that's okay, because we're going to get them every single one of them. That is correct, and it's a good thing too because, let me tell you, uh, you'll notice a big difference when you get this full set of armor once you assemble it all. It really makes a big difference, and we will get it. But, what we are going to do now, we are going to head to, I, what I'm doing is I'm checking to see what my progress is on my weapons. And I'm trying to upgrade my sword, but I'm also trying to upgrade my harvester. My scythe, because uh, I want to try to keep them equal, like I said before. Equal in power. The sword, of course, has much more power because I've used it a lot more, and I've had it, you know, since the beginning of the game. Okay, uh, we're heading to Twilight Cathedral. That is where we're going, okay? But on the way, we're going to encounter brutes like this, and I can't stand this guy. I cannot stand him, okay? Um, not because he just knocked the car out of my hand, but they are tougher than balls. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, you can fight them by throwing objects at them, uh, like cars and whatnot. Uh, and it'll shorten their life significantly. But, man, when they hit you, they really take some uh, health out of you. No big deal. He exploded. We got some health back. And, wow, this is part of a subway tunnel that got thrown up there. And how are you going to hit me, you son of a bitch? Uh... So we're going to take this way through here. Oh, and uh, when you do pick up objects to throw, you don't necessarily have to throw them. You can actually use your square button and swing them, just like a weapon, okay? Uh, just in case you didn't know that. It took me a while to figure that out. I found out by accident, actually, one time. Um, and then you can use it for a couple of enemies as opposed to just one. Or, well, cars you can use twice before they blow up. But, uh, like other stuff, like... Um, Say, for instance, a uh, telephone pole. You can use that a couple of times. Two or three times, you know. So we're going to fly up here. We're going to stop. We're going to look around. And there's nothing there. Okay, so we're going to go up. Up, up, and up. And over. Okay? It's going to be a bit of a journey to the Twilight Cathedral, but that's okay. And, whoa! Okay, all you got to do is stun these guys with your sword. That's fine. So, um, you know, what I do is I swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Ah, uh, get a little closer. There we go. Okay. And continue on. Boys and girls, we are going to get stuck in. Remember, you can hit your R1 button to move faster. Now, you see that right there? Remember that that is here uh, in this place. You're going to see them throughout the game, and you're probably wondering, what in the hell are those? What are, what are they? Are they just... They're not merely there for decoration. They couldn't be. Well, of course not. And obviously, why would you think that? Because, you know, I wouldn't point it out if that was just the case. Anyways, just remember that's there. And later, 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 you'll find out what they are. And it's really, really cool, too. So, oh, a couple of shadow flight paths. Updrafts, if you want to call them. Through here. And uh, what we're doing is we're heading to the Broken Stair, okay? That is how we're going to get to... Well, actually, we're going to the Choking Ground first, and then we're going to head to the Broken Stair. But we're going to go through here, and first we're going to jump and get this Dusk Bat. Just jump up and hit the circle button. Matter of fact, I think if you're close enough, I don't even think you have to jump to hit the circle. But, I don't know. I never really wanted to try to try to do that because I don't want to get uh, stabbed. Another Volgrim location here. Puts it on the map. That's great because as many uh, more that we get, the better and you'll see why later on. What would you ask of this home? What would I ask? I would ask uh, that I just get moving. Okay, you're going to see some headstones that are crosses like this one here. Find all of them in the choking grounds, break them and uh, a secret chest will appear. And we are going to get that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are. Okay? So that's what I'm doing, kind of looking around. But there's another enemy. New enemy we got to fight. They're not really that much of a problem. Unless they kind of gang up on you. 
But that's what's nice about the scythe, is because you can swing it and it will do an area attack all around you, like, uh, no, not like that. But, like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my scythe up there. Okay, and here's the last headstone. We skipped ahead a little bit, but that's okay. There is the secret chest. Oh, it's glowing green. I know what that is. And for those of you who don't, well, you'll see in a second here what it is. Okay, no problem. Oh, on the thing, I'm just going to spoil it. It's a lifestone shard. That's right. And that makes two. And there's only four. I thought that there was five before. I don't know what I was thinking. I had said five, and I meant four. I meant four. I really did. But, uh, so we get that. Once we clear these guys out. Beat their asses. Take their souls. Take their wrath uh, that they emit as well. Try to mix it up with the scythe and the sword. Ooh, hey, you get off me. You don't hit me. You do not hit me. You stay away. You stay away. Last one. Okay, you're going to notice, which we're right near... Um, I'm trying to get as many hits as possible, as, as possible. There is, uh, a little mausoleum little thingy here. Okay, with a handle. Alright, yeah, this. You go back, there you go. And you drag it. I uh, just drag it back as far as it'll go. Okay. Why are we doing this? Well, you'll see here. Because there's some stairs. Hey! But there's also... An artifact soldier right here. Now, you could probably run and not have to worry. I think... I don't know. Do you have to fight these guys? Do you have to? Do you have to? I don't know. I'm trying to see. I think that you do before the door opens up again. So, you're just going to have to make it. Okay, so... Um, oh, we're almost to where we need to be. We're going to get ourselves some souls here. And we're going to be having some trials. Those of you who played God of War 3... Um, there is a section in there, actually Dante's Inferno has it too, where there's some trials you have to go through and you have to do certain stipulations. That's what we're going to be doing. So, I uh, used my Earth Caller and another gate has opened. I have come for the Destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming, but a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. Yes. And here we go! Oh uh, yeah, now we're going to be able to see clearly, mm, hazily, but mm, clearly, to where we need to go. You'll see it on the map, on which way to go. Okay, and the closest one is actually a little bit to our right. I said to our right. I said to our right. And there it is. Okay. Like I said, there's five trials, as you can see on the map. Or is it four? No, it's four. Okay, it's four trials. <laughs> And you do this twice throughout the whole game. Later on, we'll be doing more trials again. <clears throat> but this is the first trial that we have to go through, okay? And it looks like we're about to be locked in. Yeah, that's right. And that uh, all-seeing eye, a little creepy. That's all right. I'm going to stab that in the eye. I'm going to stab that eye in the eye. <laughs> First one is defeat 40 enemies within the time limit, and any extra time remaining that you have, bonus souls will be awarded. So, I start off by using my scythe. Area attack works really well. Um, 
if I activate the area attack. I guess I'm not going to. So, get a couple of these sons of bitches. And as you can see, there's different enemies you gotta beat. That is number 40 right there. Okay. So, that's the first trial down, and that was fast, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't really take that long to do each of these. You just have to be careful not to die. <laughs> no big deal. There is wrath, and there is life chests here once you uh, finish each trial so you can fill up. I don't bother getting the wrath, so then I didn't use it. But you can use it uh, maybe in the next one. Who knows? So, one down, three to go. On to the next one. The next one here, I'm stabbing that eye again. Aerial Brawl, defeat five enemies using the aerial com uh, combos where you hold down square and then you hit square repeatedly to kill them. Okay, there's number three. Yeah, just like that, yes. Took me a second to get it. Do, 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 do. And up again. Oh, that counted. Wow, cool. All right. Challenge number two is down. That's That was easy enough, right? You just got to get used to remember to hit the square after you throw them up in the air. No problem. Third one, the gory end. Kill 30 enemies using the instant kill, which is the circle button. Now, here is a great opportunity to get your high flyer trophy, which is those things right there. Uh, kill five of these without touching the ground, which are kill five dusk bats without touching the ground. Okay, I missed the very second one. So there's one. And there's two. You can actually uh, use your Shadow Flight to glide to the next one. And that's what's nice, too, because you can face, you know, the next one and the next one and catch them on the way down. And that should be... This is the last one right there. And I knew that, so I decided just to drop. But then I jumped up again. There it is. High Flyer. No problem, okay? I will show you another place to get it in case you miss it there. I did the first playthrough that I did. But I found another place that's perfect as well. And I will show you that in later videos. In case you didn't get it here. Okay, next challenge is Venomous. Kill 50 enemies before war is infected. Self. Uh, dies. Now, not to worry. There are some health chests in here. And there's also some wrath uh, chests in here. Which is good because I use those too. So, just uh, start beating ass. And killing as many as you can. As fast as you can. Okay? So, this is why, because, you know, you see bigger enemies come up like those. And those guys can be really annoying. Yeah. Those guys can be annoying. But that's okay, because look at that. I only got one left out of 50. Luckily, here, there's no time limit. You just have to be careful not to die. And I was getting pretty close, but I figured, eh. I'm, I'm safe. I used a lot of my wrath, too, I see. And what I did was, is I went ahead and... Uh, oh, no, I didn't even fill up my wrath. I figured I'll do it behind the eye, because there's one. There's a full health chest right there that I didn't even use. There's uh, two wrath and two health chests uh, within that arena. And that is it. So you get the block counter. You hit R1 just before an enemy um, is about to strike you. And it'll... Well, you'll automatically block counter. You can swipe at them with your sword or your scythe or whatever you want to do. Get some wrath. And... We are going to head back towards the gates. But in the meantime, the video is coming to an end. So we will start and continue <laughs> at the next video, which will be Darksiders Part 5. So until then, boys and girls, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers. So long. Bye-bye and enjoy.